the 10th, 2020, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this has come from America. It had all the custom forms, which is very exciting. And I have zero idea what's in it. It actually has a padlock on the, or, a, or a combination lock on the front. So I couldn't even open this. I had to text um, a mysterious number that came with the packaging to, uh, to get a code and they've sent it to me here. So I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to go and get my crowbar and really get this thing open. Um, but with that said, let's start trying to open this. So I guess we put it in the neutral position. It's 14 right. So we go around to 14 right. Then we go to 27 left, no, 24 left. Goes all the way around to here. Okay, we've done that. It's not make, giving any feedback, which is a little worrying. And then we go all the way back around to 30 right. <sighs> I have a suspicion that this lock isn't working because it's not making any clicking noises. And I don't want to let you guys down, and I don't know what's in here. So we're going to have to find out. I'll be right back. Okay, desperate times calls for desperate measures. I have a suspicion this is going to make an absolute mess. But that, that was surprisingly easy. Um, you know what? I should have just done this yesterday. I could have got in early. All right, we have a confidential note right here. Look at this. It's like the old school, like World War letters. Okay, what do we have here? We have communication attendant to operation, recipient embedded field agents. These are top secret documents containing compartmentalized information essential to national security. You're required to immediately distribute the provided intelligence to your operatives in the field. That's you guys, you're the operatives in the field. These materials are to be used in the investigation of site blocked out in the Ural Mountains. Please ensure that your package contains the documents listed in the column marked manifest. You'll also be supplied with a projector to aid in distributing the material. What? What is going on? What is all this? It's like, I don't want the hay. I don't have a horse to feed. What's this? Oh, it's going everywhere. Oh, what? No, no, no. You have an alarm. This is, so these are, photo slides I think or projector slides they haven't sent me some slide cube whatever this is okay so it seems like everything is now in this box which is very funky okay so let's bring this to the forefront oh my this is an actual projector I think what on earth I don't know how to work one of these. Also, eh? Um, I need to work out how to power this thing. Okay, this thing was made for absolute boomers, but I've worked it out. I had to Google the instruction manuals online to find out that we have access, and the instructions are here. They're right here, they're inside. How is that? How does that make sense? Let's put the instructions hidden inside the damn box. But okay, so here we go. This, this tells me everything. What's this? Oh, oh, this is the clicker. So I'm like, here, on exhibit A of our presentation. That's, that's great. This, this controls the slide. All right, we have the cube fired up. Um, let's turn it on. Oh, that's actually, that's, that's quite cool. That's quite cool indeed. Okay, so let's load our slides in. We're locked and loaded. All right, moment of truth. One. Oh, this is bad. Okay. We have a region of a map. Let's, let's have a look at this. Okay. So this is this is our first slide we've loaded. Let's see, can we get that any sharper? Oh. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't give away a whole lot right there. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you guys can can try and learn some stuff from this and let me know in the comments. Let's go on to the next one. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, the machine had a little bit of a meltdown there. But we have yet 
another bit of map. Um, okay, there's some text here. What does the text say? The text is in Russian. I'm gonna get you guys a close up of this. So this is what we're looking at right here. And this is the text here. It's hard to read because of the projector slide and the lighting, but that's what it says. This is the map we've got. I, I don't know if I can relate that to anything else. It kind of looks like Summit from, uh, from, from Black Ops 1? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna fire up another one now. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I think our machine may be a little busted, which is not good. Okay, we had a big scare then. Um, one of the slides was jamming the machine and I thought everything was over, but I managed to get that slide out that was jammed by going forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. And we're gonna go and manually load the next few slides here. So I'm assuming I put them in upright like this. And then let's bring another one into play. Please don't jam. Let's go forward. That's looking better. Okay, we have something else right here. Okay, let me tighten it up. This is gonna be for you guys to work out. I don't have the brain cells. I look, I don't know. Here, let me let me bring you guys in. This is what we have. We have a series of letters and numbers. What, what does this mean? What does this one mean? I have no idea. Actually, you know what? While you guys are here with the close-up, let me take it back one slide, and let me show you the map that we first looked at. We'll give you guys a close-up of that. I don't know. It looks like Russia somewhere. I mean, the URL bit in the uh, thing gave that away. So that's, that's another slide. So this seems to be like some sort of key for the uh, previous... For the previous slide, again, not sure what's going on with this, I'll be honest. Okay, so the next one's in the machine right here, let's fire it up. What do we have? A map. Um, okay. I wonder if I can like, no, I think they just display sideways like this. So, wait, that's London. Wait, London with a number one. Okay, so we've, so London's tied into this somehow. Right there, that's where I am, which is kind of weird. I feel weirded out. And on to the next one. Right here, we have another map. Let me get that shot. I want to say that's Paris. I want to say that's Paris, yeah. So, so, and also you can see the bottom of England there. So that's, is that, is that where Paris is? I don't know, that's France anyway. We know that much for sure. We have another one of these code type things. I've definitely messed up the order of these. So I apologize for that. We've got another one of these code things, and that's actually yellow and green at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the top half of that circle is green, the bottom half is yellow. We've got more letters. What is that? It's a, it's a Call of Duty map again. That is Summit. That is Summit. From Call of Duty Black Ops. That's the outside pathway, that's the, the middle of the map. That's the tower that I used to trick shot off back in Black Ops 1. On to the next one. Again, this is Summit again. I know my stuff, I know what I'm looking at. Some of the stuff I can't work it out, this I can. That is a map I played many years ago on COD with the Tomahawks only. And here we have our final slide. This is... Hmm. I have no idea what country or region that is, but it's got a number four. Well, those were all of the slides. We're gonna turn this uh, dusted on machine off. Um, what can I take from this? Well, they've shown me Summit, um, which suggests that the next Call of Duty will be a Call of Duty Black Ops, which is very exciting, one of my favorite franchises. Probably the start of my YouTube career was on Call of Duty Black Ops 1. So that's quite cool. It's a very unique way of showing that off. Now the thing that stuck out to me is, uh, it said these materials are to be used in the investigation of site blanked out in the Ural Mountains. Um, now could that be, the Ural Mountains, could that be where the next Warzone map is? So we've got the next Call of Duty title 
is Black Ops or Cold War, and then the Warzone map is set in the Ural Mountains. That, those are my guesses uh, from all of this, just to uh, give you guys more intel on the stuff that I couldn't work out. If anyone does work it out and lets me know on Twitter or in the comments, I'll update all of you guys on my next video. But I definitely think a uh, Call of Duty Black Ops or Cold War era game coming out soon. Very exciting. With that said, let's stick to what we know, because this thing is not what we know, and uh, let's play some Warzone. I hope you enjoy, guys. Subscribe if you're new around here if you enjoyed. Leave some speculation down in the comments. Excited to read it all. And onwards we go.